Hello boys and girls, it's that time of the season again, it's the international break, you know what it means? We've got to watch boring old England, well you can, I'm not anywhere, I caught little glimpses of the Germany game the other day, nah, don't interest me one bit, um, but that said, the way Arsenal are playing right now, kind of glad we got a break really. So with it being that international break, I thought, what am I going to do to pass the time? Um, so I threw it out there on Twitter a few days ago and I said, you know what, I'm going to do another little question and answer thing. Send me some questions. I'll pick some at random. I'll answer them. We'll have a little bit of fun. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Come and join me and see if your question's been answered. <laughs> Now, before I get going with this, I've got a couple of things that I do need to tell you. It was a couple of weeks ago, I said that I'm going to give away £150 to someone that follows me on the BetBall app. Um, now, it's something that I've been doing um, for the last few weeks. I've been putting on accumulators and whatnot. You can come on there. You can follow me. You can watch what I do. You can follow my bets, copy them. When I started this competition a couple of weeks ago, I also gave away £150. Now, to enter the competition, as I said, all you had to do was follow me. And I picked a winner. Um, I'm not going to announce it just yet. I'm going to wait till the end before I announce who it actually is, the winner. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be giving away £150 for free. Um, in terms of competitions, we're going to keep it running. I'm going to give away another £150. Um, everyone that's already following me, do not worry, you're automatically in the draw. Um, if you haven't already followed me, then download the app. It's called BetBall, as I said. Um, the links are in the description. You just need to go there, follow me, you're in the draw. Um, and in a couple of weeks time, you could be one of the lucky ones that wins 150 pound. Um, in terms of my accumulators for this week, um, we've done something a little bit different because obviously, it's International Week, so I thought I'd have a little fun and games um, and put some international bets on there. The first one I've gone for, I've gone for the Republic of Ireland to beat Wales. I've gone for Austria to beat Moldova. I've gone for Italy to beat Albania. Spain to beat Israel. And USA to beat Honduras. Um, now, hopefully, all five of those come in. If they do... We win just over £60. Remember, when you have placed a bet, you get the chance to spin the wheel, um, which gives you loads of different options. And, you know, you could multiply your bet and make it even bigger. I spun the wheel. I never got one of the multipliers, but I did get insurance. So it's a nice little touch. As I said, there's a lot of cool features on this app. Um, and you can find out all the details about BetBall in the description below. Now, as we've got that all out of the way, let's get on with some questions. First question comes from Andy underscore SH11. Um, and he says, what is my favorite movie? Wow. All time favorite for me, Scarface. Gotta be. Um, it's a classic. I've heard recently that they're talking about doing a remake. No, please leave it alone. Do not touch a classic. Next question comes from Highlander AFC. Um, and he says, what is the best piece of advice I've given my son um, about playing football? Um, to enjoy himself above all. Um, go out there and enjoy yourself and then you will be able to express yourself. Um, I've always said to him, make sure you hit them before they hit you in terms of the tackling. The main objective that I've always got into my, my son and you know even my youngest boys now um, that are getting into football and everything else is enjoy yourself. It's meant to be something that we all enjoy. Um, yeah, that's my piece of advice that I gave him and to anyone out there that's playing football, just enjoy it. Enjoy it and express yourself. Don't be scared. Next question comes from McKenna1886, Ryan. Now, you're very lucky that said 1886 and not 1996 because I wouldn't have answered your question. Um, but he's basically said, if Arson signs a new contract, what can he do in terms of tactics, players, etc. to get me on board? Um, 
Personally, I don't think there's a lot that Arson can do. Um, I think that he's outdated tactically. I think that he's passed it. Um, and I've said before, you could put Ronaldo, Messi, players like that in our team. I still don't think we'll win things because he's our manager. But yeah, I would give them all my support. I love the club, do you know what I mean? And I want what's best for them. So um, I feel that he needs to change the whole backroom staff. Um, I would have the likes of Thierry Henry as assistant manager or Patrick Vieira. You know, there's a saying, it's um, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. That's my concern. Get younger, fresher, hungrier people in. That's my opinion. Um, and then we'll see what Arsene does on the pitch. Over to you, Arsene. If you sign that contract, you've got to go and prove yourself, haven't you? Next question comes from Will the Gooner. Um, and he says, do I remember what my first ever Arsenal game was? Yeah, I do. Um, it was in the 1986-87 season. Um, it was on January the 1st. Um, and we were playing at home to Wimbledon. The moment I stepped foot, into Highbury um, and my dad was on the North Bank um, so my first ever game was in the North Bank um, and I remember just walking in there for the first time just the smell just everything about it I just you know I was what seven years old six seven and I just looked around and was like wow wow this is me this is it. This is my club. This is the Arsenal. Next question comes from Southern Jacob. Um, and he says, who's the most annoying AKB? Woo. Wow. Um, now, if you want me to pick an AKB that I know personally, um, then it'd be between Ty and Chris. Um, Ty, for all his delusion, I've known the guy a very, very long time and he hasn't changed. He's always been the same. Um, so, yeah, the most deluded for me, though, would be Chris. Um, the guy's not right in the head, to be quite honest with you. Um, he's come out all season trying to wind us up. Now everything's gone a little bit tits up. Can't find him. He's disappeared. So yeah, that answers the question. Most annoying AKB, Chris, definitely. Next question comes from Zane underscore one up. Um, and he says, if my son had an important match at the same time as the Champions League final, what would I do? Um, <laughs> wow, uh, that's a question, isn't it? I'd probably pay the authorities to rearrange his game and pull it on a more convenient date. Can't miss a Champions League final. <laughs> no, no, sorry. Next question comes from Lee Gunner82, and he says, name three players, past or present, that I would love to have seen play for Arsenal. It'd be very easy to just pick strikers, wouldn't it? So I'm going to start with a defender, um, and I'd go with Bobby Moore. Um, go and ask one of the best strikers in, in the world, Pele, exactly what he thinks of Bobby Moore. Um, yeah, my God, was he a player. So one of them, definitely Bobby Moore. Uh, my next position I would pick is kind of a midfielder slash winger. Um, and I'll go with George Best. Um, in terms of footballing ability, wow, what a player. Georgie Best, yeah. I'd love to have seen him play for Arsenal now, you know, in his prime. Um, so yeah, George Best is another one that I would have. And the third player, Brazilian Ronaldo. <laughs> wow. I mentioned Pele earlier, Maradona. Jesus Christ, these are some serious footballers. That guy in his prime was just unplayable, unstoppable. Breathtaking footballer. If he was playing up front now, in his prime, with Alexis Sanchez around him and Meza Ozil. Oh, Jesus. We wouldn't be sixth in the league, that's for sure. Next question comes from Sack Shelley 16. Um, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, and he says, out of all the stadiums I've been to, what are my top three? 
Um, first one, without question, Highbury. Love the place. It's my home. Wished it was still here. Next one would be Real Madrid's the Bernabeu. Um, lovely stadium. Really, really nice. Um, um, yeah, don't really like Barcelona's because of the open roof, no roofs and whatnot. Um, San Siro, don't really like that. Um, there's so many I've been to. Um, I'd say Dortmund for the atmosphere. Um, being there and witnessing the yellow wall. Um, and just, yeah, the whole stadium's just jumping. So, yeah, Highbury, uh, Bernabeu, um, and Borussia Dortmunds. Yeah, those are my three. Next question comes from Ryan Argar1, um, and he says, if you could pick one player from Manchester United, who would it be? Anthony Martial. I think he's being wasted at United. Personally, I think Mourinho is wasting him, playing him out on the wings and whatnot. The guy, he was just coming into his own at Man United. Um, and then Mourinho turned up. Took the number nine off him. Hardly gets a game. Um, and yeah, I know Ibrahimovic has been doing what he's doing. Um, but if they're not careful, Man United are going to lose him. Anthony Martial, man. He would be lethal up front for us, in my opinion. So, yeah, Martial. Last question comes from Jolski7, um, and he says, do you drink or smoke? Um, used to drink back in the day. Um, I'm older, I'm wiser. I have the odd little bit now. Um, it just doesn't interest me no more. It really doesn't. Um, you know, if you're out with mates and you're socializing, you have the odd one or two. Um, but nah, don't do none of the sessions anymore, I'm afraid. <sighs> Too old for that as well. My body couldn't handle it no more. In terms of smoking, no, don't smoke. Used to, um, I quit probably about eight years ago now, seven, eight years ago. Um, haven't touched a single cigarette since, not even one puff, not even a try. Doesn't interest me at all. Um, and now I don't smoke. When I stand next to someone that does smoke, I think, wow, you stink. And it makes me think, did I smell that bad? You know, I'm from an era when you could smoke in clubs and restaurants and, you know, I used to come home and there'd be fag burns in your shirt from off the dance floor and stuff like that. And yeah, we must have just smelt like walking ashtrays, but you just don't realize. So yeah, it's not good for you. It stuns your growth as well. So there's a little tip for you. So yeah, drink a little bit, uh, smoke. No. So, there we have it, my Q&A. Um, answered 10 questions, had a little bit of fun. Um, video went on a little bit, but you know, got as much as I could in. Broke up a bit of time, um, and yeah, next week, we're back in action again. Man City on the Sunday. Are you lot confident? I ain't, I'm petrified. I don't know, I normally look forward to games like that, but our record against the big sides doesn't breed you with much confidence, does it? Um, that's why I'm not really confident about the semi-final either, because we've just got an abysmal record against, you know, the top six sides. Um, and even if we get through past Man City, we're going to be playing another one of those top six sides in the final. Um, it could, it could potentially be an Arsenal Spurs final. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine if Wenger was going and he finished by beating Spurs in the cup final? Wow. There's your fairy tale. As I said earlier, with the bet ball competition, I'm giving £150 away to one of my followers. And the winner is Hobbit09. Congratulations to you. Um, the organisers from bet ball will be in touch. Um, and you'll be getting 150 pounds that easy um, so like I said if you're already following me you're in the competition for the next one um, and if you ain't following me make sure you do and it might be your name that I call out next roll on next week Man City eh will they let me down all they've done is fucking let me down lately, haven't they? <laughs>
Oh, I'm out of here.